there's got to be a better way to do this. Yeah, the chickens, they really like this area. Like, a lot. It's probably because it's shaded. And there's, you know, the grass and probably a bunch of grubs there. But the ground is... We've cultivated this area before, so it shouldn't, the ground shouldn't be too hard. But this is kind of like the area when we get done cutting the grass in the front that we just toss the grass back here and you know let it do what it what it's supposed to do and it's super hot and I was gonna go and cultivate a certain area but I don't know if that's what I want to do right now that's what I want to get cultivated it's just really hot. It's a hot day today. I don't see how the chickens are out here still. And I know Duke is probably looking at me in the back. <laughs> he's, he's just chilling in the shade up against my flowers. I do have sunflowers growing and up along the fence area where I planted the seeds. So let's go walk around and see. This is the area where I planted bugs. It's in a mixture of grass, and there's probably like other weeds growing in. So I'll have to come in once they start getting a little bit bigger and take them out so that. Oh, look, there's a sunflower. Let's see. see, 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 see. Right there. Oh, the sunflower growing. Pretty excited about that. What happened when we started with six pumpkins? We only have one, and so I just trimmed some of the dead leaves off of that one, and I'm probably gonna go get some feed or something to give it some more extra life and see how it grows. But so far, I only have one left. What's going on with my watermelon here? Let me go check on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, little marks. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna try and not water the watermelons for a while and just let it grow, but let's just see what happens. I don't know what that. There's ants all over this vine right here. We just moved from, well not just, we've been out here for a year, but we moved from uh, coastal North Carolina. And I grew uh, cantaloupes and honeydews before, and they were massive. Like, well, I, I had, I was only able to have like one really and then the other ones got like caterpillars in them. Let me check this one, make sure there's no caterpillar. But the, the leaves were super big, everything was great. So I don't know what I'm doing. My man's making a comeback. I'm so excited. I trimmed them this morning, trimmed off the dead, um, the dead branches. I'm excited that it's coming back. I can't wait for it to bloom or to get to the big again. It smells so good. It's chilly out right now, so I'm in a sweater. But I think I decided that I'm gonna go cultivate a little and try and see if I can get some stuff.
six. Let's see. Okay. All right. So these are the rocks that I'm getting. They're getting picked up. The cultivator. This I like dead like cement. Just, I think it's because the ground was so completely dry before, and everything just. Together. But, you know, I'm gonna cultivate some more, dig up the, break up the grass and as much um, of the rocks as I can, and then water it down, go we'll get a bag of soil, mix it in, like a men, mix it in, and then get some planting done. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, last night I decided to cut down the humongous basil. Excuse me. It was getting big. And there's still more basil that's deciding to grow down at the bottom so I don't know if I'll be able to use the basil that we have right now that's growing because it has flowered and none of the leaves are really green they're starting to die off so I'm actually going to cut the rest of them right now Man, I tell you that basil has such a strong scent. It smells so good. Man, it looks so bare now. Wah. What we're doing right now is breaking up the rocks. We're still getting a bunch of these and just like normal rocks. And yeah, we're, you know, breaking up the grass and um, we were just saying like, oh my gosh, there's gotta be a better way to do this. But until we find that way, how to do it, um, handrake it is. So, it actually feels really nice right now. It's not super hot, so that's why we're out here right now. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm getting ready to mix the, the chicken with chips, or just like shift through the wood chips and get the the cheeky poop and toss it in here oh look they're here oh that's my feet look this is lucy say hi lucy yeah this one's lucy <laughs> can you say hi lucy hi hi 
Are you ready to go back with your girls? Huh? They're like picking at my feet right now. Since we laid out the the compost and the wood shavings from both guinea pigs and the chickens with the guinea pig poop and the chicken poop and all of the fruits and veggies that we've composted, we are actually starting to get grass growing and in certain spots and only within like a short amount of time. So we're still going to continue to Right. right now we are not putting anything in our compost bin we're just like tossing them into the ground and then uh, watering every morning and uh, continuously picking weeds that still decide that they want what are you doing You ready to go inside now? Yeah. Are you ready to go inside now? No. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go inside. Okay. Okay? Uh oh, be careful. Where is this camera going? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to get the lawnmower back here. <laughs> Did I have a bug on me or something, ma'am? I found a worm and I'll, I'll put it in the kitchen. I'll give it up. <laughs> I can, ooh, that's crooked. 